All right, just coming to the backs of our mats here. We're actually just gonna go straight into some squats. So just squatting down and pressing up through your heels and toes. Today we've got 195 is your workout today. It is the full body workout for you. All right, good thing is we're gonna make our way through each set, repeating twice straight away. So once we make our way through the whole round, you are done. All right, and then we'll do a nice little warm down down at the end. Beautiful, let's go final two and one. Good job. All right, starting to roll that spine down here. We're just gonna hold at the bottom for a moment, taking a couple deep breaths. All right, letting your head fall down naturally. You may wanna take a little sway if you want to or just letting everything dangle down. And then when you're ready, walking your hands out into a high plank, just holding here for a moment. Hold for three, two, and one. We're just gonna cross our legs under. We're gonna come onto our bottoms here, taking your feet nice and wide, one foot either side of the mat, and we're just gonna get some rotation side to side. Getting that spinal twist, dropping knees down onto the floor. We're actually gonna start down on the mat today. Let's go final three, two, and one. When you're ready, we're actually gonna come laying all the way down. And we're just gonna move into some bridges to start. All right, planting your heels and toes down, squeeze your hips all the way up and all the way down. And now we're just gonna do a couple more here. And your first exercise today is actually bridge pulses. So let's go final two, then we're gonna hold those hips up. Good, one last one here. And then we're gonna squeeze up and hold. And let's go little pulses straight into it. Here we go, little bridge pulses. Squeezing your hips all the way up, planting those heels and toes down. And then your next exercise is actually on the mat as well. Okay, so you're just gonna need your set of dumbbells today. Feel free to grab a heavier set if you've got them handy. Now with today's workout, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we've got a bit of time to transition. So if you haven't grabbed your dumbbells yet, you'll have a quick chance to grab those. Lifting up nice and high, pulsing it out, almost there, five seconds. Three, two, and one, rolling your hips down. Good job. All right, just grabbing onto those dumbbells. Now we have a chest press, but we're gonna bring our legs into a tabletop for this one. And we're gonna squeeze those dumbbells together. So tapping down and squeezing up. So bringing those dumbbells into your chest and then pressing them all the way up. Now be mindful of your legs here, okay? Keeping those knees out in line with your hips, holding that strong tabletop. Now, if that's a little bit too much on your back, you can just rest your feet down for this one. Whatever your body's feeling today. As I said, we've got the full body workout. <sighs> then, great thing is we're gonna repeat this set straight away and then we are done moving on to set two. <sighs> Let's go just a couple more here. Final two. And last one, press all the way up, dumbbells down. All right, plant your feet down. Let's get those heels pretty close to your bottom where you can almost touch them with your fingertips. And let's curl all the way up, hold it there, and let's go for those little pulses. <sighs> little lower, squeeze all the way up. Now just try and protect your lower back here as well. So your core is always on, no flaring rib cages. All right, everything is switched on nice and strong. You can even place your dumbbells on your legs or on your hip bones if you wanna add a little bit more resistance. See if you can squeeze up a little bit higher. We are past halfway, just under 10 seconds. And then we are back into that chest press. Final three, two, and one, rolling it down. All right, reach down for your dumbbells. When you're ready, legs in tabletop, arms up to the ceiling. Remember, we've got to hold 10 seconds here. So use that to get a quick little breather if you need to. And then once you're in that movement, going for that full range lower, squeeze up. Now with your legs, you can squeeze them together if you want to get a little bit of inner thighs here. Or just have them separated, whatever works for you. Then that is set one done. We're gonna move on to set two. Now set two, we won't need any dumbbells for that one. Bit of a glute one to start with. 
Let's go final two. And last one, press all the way up and lower it down. All right, we're gonna flip on over to our forearms. We have some rainbows. We're gonna start with our right leg. Lengthen it out nice and long, point through your toes. You're going to arch it down to the side of the mat, then back up in line with the body. Down to the side and back up in line with the body. So just think of those little rainbows, those little arches side to side. But let's try and keep those hips as square as we can. Take a quick look down at your left leg, at your knee. Try to straighten it up as much as we can. We don't want to be dumping all of the weight on that side. And just bringing your eye gaze to the top of the mat really lengthening through that right leg. This is for the glutes. All right, nice, strong, straight leg pointing through your toes. Then we are straight into some push-ups. All right, when you're ready, coming onto your hands. My chest muscles are sore from yesterday's workout. All right, when you're ready, meet us there. Knees down for less, on your toes for more. Let's lower and press, ouch. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Lower and press. Now with this one, just make sure that eye gaze is just at the top of your mat here. Now, if you do want a little bit less, you can bring your knees in a little closer and do similar as to what we did with yesterday. Just go for a little bit more triceps or taking those elbows a little bit wider. Past halfway, let's go. All the way down and up. Shoulders are on fire as well here. Back onto our forearms very shortly. See if we can go for just a couple more or one more <laughs> and we are done. All right, when you're ready, forearms down, left leg is going to extend nice and long, lengthen it out and let's arch out to the side and back up in line with the body. Then we only have one more round of push-ups, and then we are done with those. Trying to control your hips here. It's not all about getting the height in these arches. All right, just a nice long line through that leg and try and keep that core on using the glutes to lift that leg up. Get ready, you know what's coming up. Five seconds, two, and one. All right, rest it down. Maybe go for a quick little shoulder roll here if you need to. Hands down, knees back or on your toes. And let's get ready to lower and lift. Remember your variations there. If you are also feeling it from yesterday, remember bring your knees closer for less. Maybe even trying a couple on your toes if you want to challenge yourselves. Then after this, we're on our backs. We're gonna grab those dumbbells. Bit more of an ab one coming up. <sighs> I am burning right now. Here we go, 10 seconds. Let's try and pump it out here. <sighs> Let's go for one more all the way down. Oh, press it up. Okay, on our backs here, let's go for a dead bug. We're gonna need one dumbbell in each hand. So legs in tabletop to start, arms up to the ceiling, palms facing in, right arm lowers, left leg extends. Bit of a brain teaser for you. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Now while we're here, really drawing those backs in towards that mat, planting it down. The lower you take those arms and legs, the harder it is going to be. So a little bit less is just extending it a bit higher. If anyone's up for a challenge, maybe going both arms and legs together, whatever your body is feeling. Then we're actually gonna stay on the mat here, but you're just gonna drop one dumbbell down. Another little ab series. It's kind of like a jackknife. Dumbbell in your right hand, left leg extends, your right leg's just bent. We're gonna crunch it up, tapping that dumbbell to the ankle and lowering it down. Now with your left hand, you can just take it out to the side just to give you a little bit of support as you crunch it up. And again, here, the lower you take those arms and legs, the harder it is going to be on you, especially with that dumbbell adding in that resistance. Then once we repeat this, we'll swap sides over that second time around. Let's go just a couple more here. 
Then we're back into those dead bugs. Let's go one last one, all the way up and rest it down. Reach down for your other dumbbell. When you're ready, meet us in that tabletop, arms up to the ceiling, right arm, left leg. Lower, squeeze in. Flying through today's workout. Once we finish those jackknives, you are already halfway. We only have three more sets left after this. And then you are done for today. Nice big full body workout. Hitting a bit of everything today. Just 10 seconds left, let's go. Final two, and let's go one last one. Lengthen all the way out and rest it down. Dumbbell just in your left hand. Right leg extends, you can take that right arm to the side. And let's get ready, crunch and lower everything down. Now don't make the leg do all the work here. See if we can peel that left shoulder off. Meet it halfway. Use your right hand on the floor if you need that little bit of support as you lift up through your chest. Then we are holding onto both of those dumbbells for that next set. We're gonna make our way into standing. Get about 10 seconds left. Can we go for a few more here? Two. And last one. All right, roll on up, grab your other dumbbell. We have a squat pulse with an overhead press. Dumbbells out your shoulders. All right, let's get ready. Squat pulse, overhead press. We are loving the color of these leggings today. I don't know if you can see through the camera, they've got a nice reflective material on them as well. So when the light shines in here, it looks amazing. After these, into a bit of a hammer curl, so upper body exercise coming up. Nice chance to get your breath back. Can we get a little deeper in these squats? Pulse it out, drive it up. Last one, all the way down, and drive it up. Good job. All right, hammer curl, but we have a neutral grip. So palms facing in, we're gonna start with our right arm. Roll through your shoulders, and let's go. Squeeze up and down. Almost tapping your shoulder with that dumbbell. Bring it all the way up, but just lock those elbows in. Then we are back into the squats. Well past your halfway point, coming into that home stretch for today's session. Now, as I said, we're not gonna have any big rest in between, just powering through. So if you do need a quick little drink, go and grab one and meet us back here on the mats but we don't have long left to go. Let's just go a couple more here, then back into your squats. One last one. All right, get ready. Dumbbells at your shoulders. Quick shake out through your legs if you need to. And let's get ready for that squat and press. Lower, drive it up. Oh, pulse. <laughs> Make sure to... <laughs> I was too eager to get up there. <sighs> Now, if you were here for yesterday's session as well, you might really be feeling that overhead press. Bit of shoulders yesterday. We did our fun punches. Let's go past halfway. Just a few more here, then back into your hammer curls. Then we are winding it down. Almost there, last one, and drive it up. Ooh, shoulder roll here, loosen everything out, hammer curls. Let's get our breaths back, right hand. We're gonna start with that first, squeeze up and lower down. Then we've only got two more sets to go. We've got a bit of a funky combo coming up for your first one. First exercise of set five. We're only gonna need one dumbbell for that one, but keep your other one handy. Good, all the way up to your shoulder.
Get ready to drop one dumbbell down. We're going to go for just a few more here. Final three, two, and one. All right, one dumbbell down. We're going to hold it in our right hand. Okay, bit of a lunge combo here. So just start with that dumbbell off to your side. We're going to go for a lunge. Then as we go for a knee drive, arm presses up. All right, so you're kind of balancing on the left here. It's like a dumbbell snatch. We're adding in that knee drive as well. Also that lunge at the bottom. Ooh. We've got a mirror in front of us. Sometimes looking at something moving in front of you makes it even more trickier. Struggling to get my balance here. Now, if that's too much with that knee drive, you can just add in a knee tap. All right, after this, into a crossbody raise, you're gonna need your other dumbbell. Let's go one last one. And get your breath back. Grab your other dumbbell, mine's rolled away on me. We have a cross body raise. All right, feet hip distance apart. Right arm is gonna reach across and lowers down. So like that diagonal raise, reaching across to your opposite shoulder. <sighs> try and relax through those shoulders, keep them away from the ears and try and slow down those heart rates. Mine is pumping. <sighs> And we're dropping that single dumbbell and working that lunge combo, but we're gonna work through your other side. Then one final set to go. Almost there. Let's go one more on each side. Left arm and rest it down. All right, dumbbell in your left this time. I don't know what side is going to be easier. All right, left foot steps back. And then we go for your knee drive and press. You might find one side is a little bit better with the balance. <laughs> See how you go. Once you get the movement, you can maybe start to go a little bit quicker here. Just driving that arm all the way up. Think snatch, it's gonna be a little bit more explosive. Then back into that cross body raise, grabbing your other dumbbell very shortly. Let's go final two. And last one here, drive it up. All right, grab your other weight. Let's get ready for that cross body raise. Ooh, get your breath back. Right arm, reach across, lower down. And we only have one more set left. Coming up very shortly, we're gonna hold onto the dumbbells for that first one, another upper body one to kick us off. Some spicy sets today. Nice mix of everything in today's full body workout. Feel free to leave a comment below. Let us know your favorite set for today. Whether you love some abs, you might have loved that ab combo. Whew. Or if you prefer a bit of lower body, let us know. Let's go one more on each arm. Whew. And lower it down. All right, hold on to these dumbbells. We have an underhand grip row. All right, roll your shoulders out. We're gonna find a nice little squat hinge forward. All right, squeeze your elbows up and release. So palms facing up, getting that underhand grip. And just trying to keep those dumbbells nice and close to the body as we squeeze it up. Getting those shoulder blades. But don't forget about your core here as well. All right, we're not just sticking the bottom out. Little tuck under of your tailbone and let's get that core switched on. Bringing those dumbbells to the side of your waist, almost there. Then we've got a fun one coming up. We've done this one a couple of times. Get ready to drop your dumbbells, last one, and release. All right, squat, twist. Okay, no dumbbells. Let's get these elbows wide. We're gonna start with your right elbow to your left knee. All right, squat, and then we twist it in. All right, now this one is a great one if you wanna get your heart rates up. You can fly through these if your body is feeling it. Whew. But we get to do these all again, don't forget. This is just your first round through these ones. You have another one coming up. Get down nice and low. Whew. Drive it up, elbow meets the knee. Past halfway, then we're grabbing those dumbbells. Whew. 
let's go final two and last one drive it in okay let's grab those dumbbells that will feel great after for that second round here we go find your hinge palms facing forwards and let's get that underhand grip row try to lengthen everything out here all right hips shoulders your neck Eye gaze just at the top of the mat, squeezing those elbows up. Nice deep breaths, try to slow these heart rates down before we get into that squat twist combo and see if we can finish nice and strong and try and power through that combo. Let's go final two and last one. All right, release it down. Let's get ready. Just about five seconds until we start. Shake it out and let's get ready. Squat down, three, two, and one. Squat and twist. Here we go, right at the home stretch here. Can we power through these? Let's finish off nice and strong together. See if you can keep up with us or if you wanna challenge us, can you go even faster? Whew. I think we've set our pace now. <laughs> I don't know if I can go much faster than this today. Whew, let's see how we go. All the way down, you are past halfway. <sighs> Hold this pace, you got it. <sighs> Five seconds. <sighs> let's go one last one and drive it in. Whew. Good job today, ladies. Well done, let's come to the backs of our mats. We're gonna roll straight on down into a downward dog. When you're ready, you can meet us down there, planting your heels down and take a little pedal through your legs. Take a moment, Whew. maybe a little rock side to side. Well done, we're gonna bring our left leg through. All right, holding that pigeon pose, lengthen your right leg out. Come up nice and tall, pressing your hips in towards that left leg. And then when you're ready, gently starting to roll on down. If you've got that flexibility, feel free to rest your head down here. Just holding whatever feels good. Feeling that stretch through your left glute here. And gently rolling on up, back onto your fingertips. Tuck your right toes under, push back into that downward dog. And then right leg comes through. We'll do exactly the same on this side. Pressing your hips down, lengthen your left leg. And when you're ready, slowly start to roll on down. And just taking some deep breaths here. See if we can start to slow down that exhale to help get that heart rate down. Slowly coming back up onto your fingertips. We're just gonna take that left leg back and then drop your hips down onto the mat. Just some lengthening through the spine. Maybe taking some little rotations, eye gaze going over your right shoulder, then over your left. Going one more each side. And then knees nice and wide, push your hips back into that child's pose, head melts to the floor. When you're ready, gently rolling your way up, coming onto your side. That was workout 195 today. Today's full body workout. Make sure you stay hydrated. Hopefully we see you back for 196. Thank you.